Hello, welcome back. Uh, so we'll be continuing with our IFRS 9 understanding the basics. And so what we'll be doing now is to move on to understanding IFRS 9 10 in terms of uh, the definitions and how to actually uh, properly identify financial instruments in terms of financial assets, financial liability or equity. Okay, be but before we start, I would like you to go through this. Uh, you can come back to it later and see if we actually have the correct answer to it after we are through uh, under this section. Okay, so let's look at those important definitions under FRS 9. Uh, basically, we will be starting with the big deal, which is financial instrument itself. So the financial instrument here says that a financial instrument is any contract that gives rise to a financial asset of one entity and a financial liability or equity instrument of another entity. Now, what that means is that it is a contract when you have a financial instrument, there is a contract. The contract may not be written, it may be implied, but the major thing is that there is a contract when you have a financial instrument. Now, another thing is that when you have that contract, the contract gives rise to a financial asset of one entity, meaning that when that contract takes place, one entity must have a financial asset while the other entity that is in that contract that same contract will have either a liability that is a financial liability or we have equity and sometimes might even have both that is the other party may have both a liability and an equity the major thing is that when it comes to a contract that has to do with financial instrument there has to be at least two parties involved the one party will have a financial asset while the other party will have a financial liability or we have equity we'll look at each of these components uh, shortly okay so let's look at an example for financial liability you know we said that when you have a financial asset you must have a financial liability or equity so when it comes to a financial liability when you have a financial asset so for example if you decide to loan your friend uh, some money uh, what would have happened is that you send money to your friend you that you are sending the money you are expecting your friend to actually pay you back and so what you would do is you record a financial asset because you have released cash to your friend and then your friend will record a financial liability because your friend has an obligation to pay you back and so in that case the contract whether written or implied already creates the fact that there's a financial asset on one end and a financial liability on the other end now another example could actually be in terms of uh, equity as well equity in the sense that say for example you are someone that actually likes a particular product so for example you are someone that actually likes nike shoes and so what you decided to do is you decided to buy some shares in nike because nike is actually listed on nyse stock exchange yeah so you decided to buy shares in nike and because of that you as an investor will have what we call an investment in equity which is actually a financial asset and nike because nike has issued shares to you nike will be recognizing an equity and so in that case there are two parties involved and there is there are two parts to the transaction the first one is that you have a financial asset which is the investment in equity that you have purchased which is a financial asset and the other end is nike will be recognizing equity in terms of the issued share capital that he has given out to you and so that's how it plays out at every point in time when you have a financial instrument there has to be a contract and it has to be that there are at least two parties involved where one party is being favored the other party will be unfavored or it could be that when one has a financial asset the other has a financial ability or when one has a financial asset the other has equity it is important to identify that because that is the crux of our discussions are uh, going forward so there will be a financial asset somewhere and there will be equity somewhere else so now let's take the definitions one after the other starting with our financial instruments we've talked about financial instruments and now we are looking at what are the types of financial instruments which we already mentioned the first one is financial assets the second one is financial liabilities and the third one is uh, equity and so those are the three major 
types of uh, financial instruments that we do have.